good morning dear students in my last class i discussed up to division by 10 the last digit of the number should be 0 if it has to be divisible by 10 so i hope you remember the divisibility uh, by 11 how to check if a number given number is divisible by 11 or not what you have to do you have to separate the digits of odd and even places so from here uh, this is first place number 1 1 is odd number so this is odd place this is even place because it is in the second place second number 2 is even number here it is number 3 position from last so 3 is a odd number number 4 is an even number number 5 is odd so what we have to do we have to add the odd position digits so odd position we have 9 2 and 1 9 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 12 in even position we have 9 and 3 so 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 now what we shall do we shall subtract this number from this number so 12 minus 12 that means addition a uh, sum of even position digits minus sum of odd position digits like that we have to subtract so 12 minus 12 is 0 if we have 0 11 22 33 like this this value if this value is 0 11 22 33 44 like this that is multiples of 11 then the given number is divisible by 11 so we have got 0 therefore 1 3 2 is divisible by divisible by 11 so you have to Uh, show me the uh, calculations when you are uh, doing some divisibility test in uh, i had given you one question in my last class everyone is just uh, ticking the correct sign and uh, do, uh, giving the cross it is not like that you have to show me the calculation in rough work this calculation should be in rough work otherwise you get half mark there is no proof or evidence that you have done the calculation so keep in mind whenever you have the type of question i gave you uh, to check if a number is divisible by 5 8 10 like that do not put simply the correct sign or cross sign you have to do the calculation in the rough work area uh, the next example is find the greatest number which divides 27 43 and 54 leaving remainder 2 3 and 4 respectively so you have to find the number um, which divides 27 43 and 54 but leaves remainder 2 3 and 4 to solve this what you have to do for 27 you get remainder 2 so 27 minus 2 it is 25 43 minus remainder you get 3 that is 40 for 54 you remainder you get remainder 
subtract it is 50 now you find the LCM of these three these three numbers so for uh, 25 it is 5 5 1 for 40 you divide it is 20 again it is 5 uh, again you divide it you will get 1 so for 50 divide by 2 25 5 and 5 so 5 uh, 25 equal to how much we get 5 into 5 actually we are finding the LCM of this 3 uh, uh, sorry it is uh, we are finding the HCF of these three um, numbers 25 is equal to 5 into 5 40 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 uh, 50 is equal to 2 into 5 into 5 so we have to find the greatest number which divides all the three uh, numbers living remainders 2 3 and 4 so after subtraction of the remainders we get the three numbers we have uh, prime factor uh, we did prime factorization now we have to find the HCF because HCF is highest common factor, greatest or highest common factor which will divide uh, which uh, is a factor of the numbers uh, 25, 40 and 50. So HCF is what the common factor of all the three numbers that is we do not see any common uh, factor after 5 so it is 5 therefore 5 is the greatest number which uh, divides 27 43 and 54 living remainder living remainder 2 3 and 4 just like this you have to write the sentence I do not have a space so I am writing like this so if it is greatest number uh, by which divides then you have to find the HCF. If it is the le least number or the smallest number and uh, all the three numbers is divisible then it, that is LCM. You, you have to remember the trick. Uh, you may get uh, some questions like 7 into 2 is 14 and 7 into 5 is 35 for 14 and 35 so the relationship between LCM and HCF what was the relationship uh, for LCM and HCF I have two numbers 14 and 30, uh, 35 one number is one number is 14 the other number is 35 14 is equal to 2 into 7 35 is equal to um, 5 into 7 therefore what is their HCF HCF is 7 you can see LCM is LCM is the common factor that is 7 
into uh, the longest chain of two. <coughs> longest chain of two longest chain of five so it is equal to seven into two fourteen into five seven into two fourteen 14 into 5 is 70 so it is LCM equal to 70 so HCF of 14 and 35 is 7 LCM of 14 and 35 is 70 so what is the relationship of HCF and LCM the product of the numbers uh, the product of the numbers that means 14 into 35 is equal to HCF HCF is 7 into LCM is 70 so it is HCF and it is LCM product of the two numbers is equal to HCF into LCM if it is true then we can prove the relationship let us uh, check now 35 into 14 14 into 5 is uh, or you can do in the uh, long multiplication 4 into 5 is 20 2 4 into 3 is 12 plus 2 14 1 into 5 1 into 3 if you add uh, 9 and it is uh, 490 so the product of the product of the uh, numbers these two numbers we got 490 now LCM into HCF equal to 7 into 70 that is 490 therefore product of the numbers equal to HCF into LCM we have proof this equal to this the LC HCF into LCM of the numbers is equal to product of the numbers we have proved 490 we have got for this 490 we have got for this and uh, this way you have to uh, solve in your exam um, I have done it in mess uh, something messy this but in your copy you write uh, nicely uh, it should be neat and clean I hope uh, you will be able to do uh, solve this type of questions one question one more question the product of two numbers is 125 and their HCF is 5 find their LC just now I described that a product of product of two numbers numbers is equal to HCF of the numbers numbers into LCM of the numbers so product of two numbers what is that that is 125 so in place of product of two numbers you write 125 in place of HCF you write 5 into LCM we have to find to find the LCM what we have to do we have to divide 125 by 5 if we divide 125 by 5 what we get to uh, 5 will come down so it is 25 so it is LCM is 25 so uh, this way you have to do 
therefore lcm of the of the two numbers two numbers equal to 25 you write the sentence because it is a word sum or statement sum so you have to write the statement at the end of the problem uh, after solution so this way you have to do um, it is very easy only that um, this part is little bit tricky and remember this you have to remember this part so we go to the uh, chapter 7 fractions little bit we'll uh, discuss in a fraction in a fraction uh, this is numerator part and this is the denominator part so if the numerator is less because you most of you uh, are confused about less than and greater than sign so less l e s s this is less than sign if n is less than d that means if numerator is smaller than d if numerator is having small value than d that is a 3 is less than 5 4 is less than 7 etc are proper fraction you may be given uh, uh, fill in the blanks or match the following like uh, that uh, mcqs so you should know what is a proper fraction the numerator is always smaller than the denominator its value is always less than one if n is greater z greater sign this side open that means n is greater than d suppose 70, uh, 13 by 7 7 by 5 etc are improper fraction if n equal to 1 that means the numerator is 1 always you can see here 1 by 5 1 by 7 1 by 11 etc are called unit fractions so you uh, remember the terms uh, just uh, an introduction i have given in your next class in on saturday i will finish the um, chapter fraction uh, the revision for fraction and you have to go through uh, some test um, i have taken test up to simplification now i shall go through uh, multiplication multiples and factors one, one or two test or and uh, for fraction also you have to attend some test so you practice at home and this is all for today's class have a great day ahead